Well, hey everybody, Graham here from therecordingrevolution.com. Today I want to talk to you about using loops in Pro Tools. Uh, if you buy Pro Tools, the last few versions, maybe the last three versions, have come with a whole host of audio loops, um, everything from drum loops to percussion loops to guitar, string patches, all sorts of stuff that are pre-recorded loops for you to implement in your sessions. I think Big Fish Audio makes a bunch of those loops and those are a bunch of what you're getting stock with Pro Tools. Of course, any loops you create or buy or have, if you have them on an audio drive or a hard drive somewhere, you can use any type of audio in Pro Tools, any kind of loops you want. And using loops in music production is really popular all over the place, not just in Pro Tools. But if you're using Pro Tools and maybe you're used to another DAW or you never used loops at all, but you're wondering, how do I incorporate loops into Pro Tools? Literally, I know where they exist in my hard drive, um, but how do I get them into my sessions? Well, there's a couple ways to do that, um, and I want to show you the, the easiest way to not only find your loops, but audition them alongside your tracks in your, your session, and then decide if you want to use them, bringing them into your Pro Tools session, even at the right tempo, if they weren't originally recorded at that tempo. Okay, let me give you an example because that's usually the best way to teach something is in an example. Here's a song that I was mixing um, for our band and we got to the bridge of the song and I realized that um, like many times when I'm mixing, I need some percussion in this section of the song alongside the drums to give it a specific feel, maybe enhance it a bit. So here is where I'm talking about. Here's the bridge. We're coming into the bridge and this is where I need percussion. So this is the place I wanted to add some percussion. And in my mind, I'm hearing a total tambourine loop, okay? I just kind of have a vibe of what I want to put in here, but I'm not really sure. The best thing we can do is open up what Pro Tools has called the Workspace Browser. It's a horrible name for a very boring window, but it's in the window menu and it's called Workspace or Option or Alt semicolon. Okay, you're never going to remember that, but honestly, the more you work in it, the more you will remember it. And what it's going to bring up is just a window to sort of see or browse all the drives on your computer right now. So in my mind, I'm going to look for my loops. I know my loops are on my audio HD, and so I'll arrow down. And I have a folder called Big Fish Loops. And these are where I've just stored all the loops from Big Fish Audio that came with my Pro Tools rig, okay? I don't really have anything other than what came stock. So I'm just navigating to where I know I probably have some tambourine loops in the Pop Rock folder. Um, there's a folder called Percussion and Tamb, okay? So there's a tambourine folder. Now, what you're going to see is any files, and you'll see if they're audio files, and you'll see what they're called. In this case, um, I've got Pop Tambourine 01, Pop Tambourine and Shaker, you get the idea. And what I'm going to do is, over on the right, look at the waveforms. There's a little speaker icon. You can audition them by clicking it. All right, so you get the idea. This is a very simple way to find and audition loops. So I like this tambourine right here. This is exactly what I want, a very percussive um, 16th note, one e and a. Bucka, ducka, ducka, bucka, ducka, ducka. Now what I don't know is if this tempo matches up with my song. It says 0 0.95, so it's probably 95 beats per minute. Um, I know in Pro Tools my session is, what is my session? It's 140, so this song is faster. You can see right there in my transport. It's, it's faster than this loop, right? which we know shouldn't be a problem with, with Pro Tools. Pro Tools can do almost anything with time. So what you can do is you can change the tempo of any of these loops to fit the tempo of your session that's currently open. Up here at the top is um, basically a stripped down version of Elastic Audio or Elastic Time in Pro Tools. When you click this on, you're saying please um, snap all these audio files to the current tempo. And you can use the four different algorithms that Elastic Audio has 
on any Pro Tools track. So if you're familiar with Elastic Time, Elastic Audio, these are the exact same algorithms. So since I'm working with a percussion loop, I'm going to choose Rhythmic. So please compress or expand these loops rhythmically, or best suited for rhythmic material, to the tempo of my song. Right? So if I take that green button off, so it just it did it to the tempo of the session that's already open. Now we can we can check now to see if this loop at the right tempo even works with the area that I'm talking about. So what we'll do is simply go back to Pro Tools and I'm going to press play in Pro Tools so the audio is playing. And then I'm going to switch over to the workspace browser window and press the audition icon and it will start to play the loop at a downbeat of the song and we'll hear it in context to see if it works. All right, here we go. So you get the idea. You can hear, okay, at the right tempo, that kind of fits with what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zero in here. Here's the room mic. I'm just going to create a new track just below it. I'm going to make it a stereo audio track because I know that these loops are likely stereo tracks. You don't have to do it this way, but I like to do it this way because I know I'm going to build a track where I want it. I'm going to call it tambourine or tambo. Why not? Rambo, tambo. And then over in the workspace browser, I'm literally going to drag that tambourine loop with the elastic time button engaged into my session, all right? And it drags a little piece of audio, and if I zoom in, you can see that's the actual loop, and you can see that it fits the perfect two-bar loop, and it says pop tambo rhythm. That means this is the compressed uh, version because we had the uh, time compression button engaged. If we take that off and we try to drag in the loop, you'll see that it brings in the original which is longer, pop tambo versus pop tam rhythm. So with the button engaged, it brought it in at the right tempo, already compressed, no need to use elastic audio on the actual track over here on the left. It's just written a new audio file, and we can take a listen. Lord, there it is, so now it's actually an audio file in our Pro Tools session. So now we can cut it up, we can duplicate it, we can do all sorts of things. For instance, what I really want this loop to do, because loops are rarely perfect for what I need, I'm gonna cut it up so it does what I hear in my head. I'm gonna come over here, make a break there, make a break there, drop this over here, and duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Now take a listen. Lord, you knew That's what I want, just the every this every snare hit where he's doing pop 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 i want the big tambourine hit to be on the same one ticka 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 lord you knew us be free we'll just duplicate that lord you knew us be free your foundations and from there i can just edit and move it wherever i want and just fill out the rest of my song with the tambourine track now that it's in my session so that might give you guys an idea of how to start to incorporate loops in pro tools using the workspace browser this goes for any kind of loop you can find it in the workspace you can change the tempo of it to fit the session you're working in you can drag it into an empty track you don't even have to have a track created honestly you could just scroll to the bottom of your session and drag in the loop and it will build a new track for you but that's using loops and pro tools hope that helps you guys on your next session again this is graham at the recording we'll see you on another video